Hi everybody, Paul Cameron here from Wheaton Lodge number 269 and as part of the Masonic Community Days program here in Illinois, every month we sponsor and host a seminar along with SpeedUpMyJobSearch.com and Drive Staff, an IT recruiting company, to help job seekers find and land their next job. It's called the Jobs Driven Networking Group and we focus on teaching networking strategies for job seekers, covering everything from face-to-face -face networking to face-to-screen networking. We meet every third Thursday over the lunch hour, and it's free for anyone to attend. So if you know someone who's looking for a job, please share this video with them. Here's a clip from one of our recent events. Let's take a look. So today, we're going to talk about advanced social media networking strategies, all right, and how to find people. So first, I'm going to show you how to find companies, and then I'm going to show you how to find warm leads names of people you know that work at these companies. Kind of a back door to find where all your friends have ever worked, which is really cool. Finding companies who hire people who do what you do. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to LinkedIn and you're gonna do a people search for people who do what you do in your area, all right? So you're looking for people, not companies. All right, when you come up with those lists of people, you're gonna to go to their profile to see where they worked. All right, now you've got a list of people who do what you do. You now have the list of companies where they've worked. That means you have a list of companies who hire people who do what you do, right? So that's a great target list to start with for finding companies that could potentially hire you. And I think you'll be surprised. There's gonna be some companies on there that you've never heard of before that are in your backyard that hire people just like you, regardless of what you do. But then from there, what I would normally recommend you do is you then do a, a people search for people who currently work at those companies, and you're gonna look for the hiring managers at those companies so you know how to, who to reach out to. But um, I thought it'd be better if we could find some people who you know personally who work at these companies. So what if we could find a back door in there? And that's what I wanna show you, which obviously I'm really excited about. What I wanna show you here today is a, a tactic that is gonna be very, very advanced, and it's going to seem extraordinarily complex. Like you need to be a programmer to be able to do this. But if you really understand the concepts behind this, it's a lot easier than, than you think. It's gonna be a lot easier than you think. Like learning a new language, which I said that to John the other day, he's like, you know, learning a new language is not always easy. Okay, a, 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 right, there you go, right. But okay, so learning a new language that's very similar to English, but not quite, all right? So follow me, I'm gonna do my best to, to string you along here on, on how to do this, but. So I'm gonna teach you how to teach, uh, how to speak Sumjus, all right? This is the new language, and it's totally just coincidental that Sumjus happens to be the acronym for speed up my job search. Just random coincidence. <laughs> All right, so the Sumjus people, and this is <laughs> Jerry's version of what the Sumjus people look like, they are people finders, all right? That's what they do. But you can only communicate to them through written word, all right? You can't talk to them. They recognize faces, but you can only talk to them through the written word. So if you're gonna to talk to them, you have to write in their notebook. They don't have normal notebooks. Their notebook is called facebook.com slash search. That's their notebook, okay? So if you can remember, that's how I talk to the Zoom just people, facebook.com slash search. Now you do have to have a Facebook account. If you don't have one, create a shell of an account, right? Make up a name. You don't have to have, put in your own name in there in an email address. So make up a name, put a fake picture on there, wear a wig, he's got a big colored wig on and things. So you can do that. So the English language, if you think about the English language, we always, you know, for example, here's a sentence. We search the drive staff directory for employees. All right, that's a sentence in English. In English, we always start every sentence with a capital letter, right? We're all aware of this. Between the, all of the words, we have spaces. And we always end all of our sentences with a period. All right, now how hard is that for all of us to remember? Pretty easy, we all know that. We start with a capital, we have spaces between words, we end with a period. The assume just people do the same thing, but they've got a different characterization, different characters, right? So they start every sentence with S-T-R. That's their capital letter. Capital letter, S-T-R, same thing. 
all right? Like if you're trying to learn the Chinese language, they use different characters and things. They at least assume just people use English letters. They start with S-T-R. What's that? Um, not, not in quotes. Not in quotes. I'm just, nope, doesn't matter. It can be all lowercase, just S-T-R. Now, between like pronouns and words and things, they use slashes and dots. They don't use spaces. All right, so again, just minor differences in the language that they use compared to English. And they end every paragraph with a period, but their period is called slash intersect. All right, they don't slant inter slash intersect. That's their version of a period. But they only put periods at the end of paragraphs, not of sentences. You with me? Am I going too far here? I'm trying to oversimplify because it's going to seem really complicated if I lay out a big string here for you. But if you keep that concept in mind, it's very, very simple. So, and then instead of the word directory, they use pages named. All right. So, for example, instead of we search drive staff, the drive staff directory for employees, they would write it like this. Facebook.com slash search, that's their notebook. Slash, because I don't use spaces, STR, that's the capital letter at the beginning of the sentence. With me? Drive staff, because that's what I'm trying to look into. Slash pages named, that means directory. Slash employees, because that's what I'm looking for. That's the end of my sentence, that's the end of my paragraph. Slash intersect. All right, so rather than just kind of telling you this works, I've got Wi-Fi, I want to show you. All right, so I hit enter. It's now searching Facebook for anybody who works at Drive Staff. Now, if you notice the way they came up here, in, in your results, you're going to see whether it says add friend or it'll say friends. So you'll be able to see out of your list of friends who you're friends with on Facebook if they work at that company. But if you don't have a Facebook account, then you don't really... Create a shell. It does not matter. It doesn't matter because it's searching people you're not even connected to. That's the cool thing about this. There used to be a program in Facebook that I would use all the time, but it would only return people who I'm friends with and it couldn't search beyond that. This is a back door in there. At some point, they will shut this down, I'm sure. But right now, it's working. So let's use it. Yes? You said to begin with, to set up a shell account. Yes. But if you have a Facebook account, you're saying still you're fine. set up a... No, 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 yeah, just use that. It's, nobody's gonna know you're running these searches. Nobody can see you're doing this. It's just you can't get results unless you're logged into Facebook. So you gotta be logged in somehow to Facebook. So now what if you want people who currently work at that company? So now I'm gonna use IBM because drive staff is much, much smaller than IBM. Um, so what if we wanted to find somebody who currently works at IBM? Same exact string, except we're gonna add in there, if you can see that word present. But if you put in present after that, it'll tell you the people who presently work at that company. Okay, so Glenn Miller, I know Glenn Miller, we're friends, and I can see, okay, and he's a Linux guy at IBM. Huh, I need a Linux guy, you know, kind of a thing, so I can, I can figure that out. But these are all people who work at uh, IBM currently. What if we wanted somebody who just was in the Chicago area? All right, we need to add another sentence. All right, now you remember how we start a sentence, STR, right? That's the capital letter. Yep, absolutely. Just typing it right in the URL. So you type an STR after the last intersect? After, nope. Uh, intersect is the end of the, that's a period at the end of the paragraph. Okay. They only put periods at the end of paragraphs, not sentences. Okay. So you have multiple search STRs? You can just, yeah, you can write a whole paragraph of these things. As long as they all start with STR, and then they finish, the whole paragraph ends with slash intersect. All right, so now, but now I've got str slash IBM, because that's the company we're searching, slash pages named, because that means directory, slash employees, because that's what we're looking for. My next sentence is str slash Chicago, because that's where I'm looking, is Chicago, slash pages named, slash residence, and that's the end of my 
sentence. So I'm putting in residence because that's what I'm looking for is location. And if I hit enter, here's a bunch of people that work at IBM that are in the Chicago area that currently work at IBM. You with me? Yeah. It's cool, huh? Plural. TS. Residence plural. I'm like a resident, but residence plural. I hope that was helpful for you. And if you'd like to attend one of our jobs driven networking group meetings, just go to drivestaff.com slash JDNG to RSVP. For immediate help with your job search, check out youtube.com slash speed up my job search and pick any of the dozens of videos there and implement that tactic today so that you can land faster. Again, I'm Paul Cameron from Wheaton Lodge number 269. And thanks for watching.